Hey guys, this is Davey here from phonebluff.com and today I'm going to be doing a video review on the app Flingo available from the Android market. With the new iPhone 4S just around the corner, a lot of people are getting really excited about arguably the iPhone 4S's best feature, which is Siri. Now a lot of Android loyalists have been kind of downplaying Siri, saying that voice command is, isn't anything new and that Android's had it for a long time. Now while that's true, um, Siri is something new. Basically, Siri is more of a virtual assistant, and what Android has is just regular voice command. That's where Vlingo comes in. It's basically the alternative to Siri if you want to stick with Android. With uh, Vlingo, you could do things like have it find you a taxi or a restaurant nearby of a certain type. Even uh, opening up an app for you, or you could ask it a question and it'll answer it right within the app. So I'll go ahead and show you some of these features that Vlingo has. I have to say right off the bat that Vlingo isn't quite as good as Siri is, but it is pretty close and it's the best alternative that Android currently has. Alright, so when you look at the app itself, you can see uh, from its main screen all the different commands you can give it. So I'll go ahead and cover the ones that aren't already available on the uh, stock Android voice command. So I'll go to the home screen. I've programmed this little search key to uh, launch Vlingo when I press and hold it. So I'll ask it to open up a uh, application for me. Open calendar. And you can see it opened up my calendar. It didn't ha I didn't have to repeat myself. It's really accurate with the voice. Um, I'll ask it about the weather, I guess. Weather in Laguna Hills. Now it does use your GPS, so it's able to realize that I'm talking about Laguna Hills in California by using my GPS. I don't have to be, you know, exactly accurate. I, can, I think I can just say weather alone and it'll work. It opens up Google Weather and, uh, you know, I've got my five-day forecast right there. All right, so let's ask it a question. When was Martin Luther King born? And you'll see that the, uh, that Vlingo will actually answer your question right within the app. So January 15th, 1929. Let's do uh, a restaurant, I guess. I'll ask it to find me a Italian restaurant. Italian restaurants nearby. And you can see it's searching for Italian restaurants that are nearby. And uh, there you go, it's populated with a few restaurants so if I wanted to go to Olive Garden I could just call right there and even you know see the reviews if I'm not familiar with the restaurant now I'm gonna actually do something I said I wouldn't but I'll text with uh, Vlingo I'll text somebody versus texting with uh, the stock Android voice command just so you guys can kinda see the difference so text Alex Green what are you doing So you can see, Alex Green, what are you doing? I can just hit send and I'd be done. So I'll go to the stock Android voice command and show you guys the difference. Text Alex Green, what are you doing today? Now, you can kind of see the accuracy. I mean, it said, Olive Green, what are you doing today? So. It got most of it right, but it didn't get the most important part right, which is sending the message to Alex Green. And it sent it in the message, so it didn't even put it in the uh, to field. So you kind of see the difference. Um, Flingo is definitely a lot better than Android stock voice command, and it's pretty close to Siri. Um, I'd recommend you guys download the app. It's free from the Android market. Uh, it's supported by ads. You could get an ad-free version too. I'm not sure how much that costs, but you could find the full details at phonebuff.com. And uh, don't forget also to check out phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.